imagine like <laughs> being a doctor and just like walking in I and know. seeing a patient that clearly just like doesn't know just is naked for and, like, no reason which, why is she naked it? oh my god like, like i was the topic knew. at everyone's dinner that night the if whole office knew. knew about me the dermatologist and nurse went home like you're not gonna fucking believe oh, this one they're still telling the story they're to this day they're still talking about it What's up, you guys, and welcome back to Emotionally Online, the show for spilling guts and sharing secrets, hosted by yours truly, the one and only Maddie Drosbeck. And this week, I am joined yet again by two of my best besties in the whole world, Mika and Ashley. <laughs> the besties are back. I'm in Boston for the weekend, celebrating both of their birthdays, and we're just absolutely diving into the best hours that were so needed and necessary these days honestly so like true. we were Jesus. absolutely starved we were famished it's been way too long yeah it it's don't actually even. like criminal <laughs> it like actually guns needed to be purchased <laughs> we needed to take down whoever it was that was keeping us apart from each other for this long it's got to be that baby and that it's got to be that baby so in the corner With off the, the yerb <laughs> I've seen that baby on the most wanted list. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, have you guys everywhere. been seeing that? It's crazy because I also thought he was a cop. No, it's yeah. He's he's you know he's got multiple professions and a pirate. Yeah. He's also a pirate. He climbed the barbed wire. On yeah, the boat. we've been on about this baby for the last like twenty four hours. Tomorrow they're hosting a. You can describe it. So. We're really into Real Housewives, specifically uh, Mika and I, when we were living together, we would watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills together. And one of the, like the leads and castmates, Kyle Richards, always throws something called a white party every single year, which is a party where everyone just dresses in all white. And it's great because you can dress up, you can dress down, doesn't matter so long as you're in all white. So Mika and I decided for our 27th birthday to throw our very own white party inspire, inspired by Kyle Richards. And so all of our friends are coming in all white and we're going to get in there, start some drama, see what happens. Oh, so much drama. It's we're gonna expecting be a good time. drama. We've explicitly asked for drama yes. as a birthday present. Yep. But how the baby came up was, I guess, in the theme song, they each have their little catchphrases or whatever. Right, yeah. And so we were brainstorming different taglines for attendees of said party, party and mm -hmm. we went completely off the rails yeah, with so this baby like i don't even i don't know what oh the initial trigger was we were trying to think of a tagline for somebody that is both a like kindergarten teacher and a spin instructor, spin instructor. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the babies came in it was like we taught 22 babies how to soul cycle and now they're doing tour de france <laughs> like and then it just kept going just gone it had a life of its rails. own like no, it's yeah crazy. and now the baby's doing lines in the bathroom mm -hmm. uh licensed to carry a firearm yes mm -hmm. he's a chef and yeah. a pirate and, and a cop there's a lot of questions about the baby yeah. if the baby has a license if anyone right. has seen the baby in the bathroom the baby's doing lines, like, what's, six what's panera charged on? lemonades it's yeah so yeah. true and we're very scared of him six yerba mate <laughs> the six yerba mates yeah no yeah, we're really kind of scared of the baby's him. a real threat he's a like, menace let's be clear yeah. no, real, the baby's real a huge threat. threat yeah yeah so we keep going back to this baby and we're trying to figure out like what the real potential for this is yeah at the party yeah <laughs> like yeah. how can we work the baby in and give him like a moment of his own mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. or, or several moments mm -hmm. <laughs> that baby will be here <laughs> he is here i couldn't get him out of here if i tried <laughs> and trust us we have to well, oh i've like, tried mama oh my god <laughs> Yeah, but we needed some bestie hours this week specifically. I needed to come on the podcast and tell you guys about what I was subjected to at trivia this week because I, I just need to Were talk you, about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had some haters in the fucking building this Ooh. week at trivia. Ooh. Yeah. Literally, people are so weird and childish. It's actually beyond me. Um, so we went to trivia on Wednesday, as usual, as we do, and... For trivia, I reserve a table for us mm -hmm. to play at like a week in advance. And as do most of the people. Yeah. At the people that like, come you regularly. Have to reserve a table. It sells out. So yeah. you have to 
reserve a table if you want to make sure that you'll have the ability to play. And I take like RSVPs the week before mm -hmm. where people tell me if they're going to come or not. So I know how many seats to reserve, whatever. I do this whole thing. I'm very fucking extra about it Yeah. to make sure I'm on top of it. This week, there were some people who I guess forgot to reserve a table of their own. Mm. And we had some people that showed up late. So they saw all these extra seats at our table and they were like, um... Uh, can we sit here? Asked a few times and we politely said, no, we have extra people coming. Mm -hmm. And right. after like four times of them asking, they just like started putting their stuff down and sitting there. And we were like, no, there are people coming. We have and reserved these seats. They were like being so rude, rolling their eyes at us, whatever. My name is on the table because mm -hmm. I'm the one that reserved right. it. I actually didn't speak to these people whatsoever. Mm -hmm. My friends were speaking to them. So they had zero interactions with me personally, right. but my name is on the table. They don't even know that you are Maddie. They don't know no, that I no, am Maddie, I but a lot of other people at the location know who mm -hmm. I am because I'm there every fucking week. Right. Obviously not everyone is witnessing this interaction. Sure. They go back to their, they get like pushed over to the bar section mm -hmm. and they name their team. So it pops up in the app. Oh, a new team has joined the trivia night team maddie d are assholes or something like that mm -hmm. and i was looking at my phone and i read it and i was like wait what the fuck why am i yeah. catching strays at a fucking <laughs> free bar trivia night you guys are wild also can i just say this is the second time this has happened it happened for the first yeah. time in january yes this is the second time is this has happened people, for or? different people same exact circumstance where people didn't reserve a table oh. tried to steal my extra seats as my friends are running oh. late and then got mad when we were like no, you can't steal yeah, the table so I reserved. They're assholes and also unoriginal. Like, can you imagine mm -hmm. going to a restaurant? You didn't make a reservation. Someone else did. And then you're like, um, can you get up? Because you've got an extra seat at your table. Actually, right. I forgot to make a reservation. And then they're like, no, actually, I made a reservation for this. And this is my table. Yeah. And then they're standing by the front door like giving you the fucking <laughs> finger suck, bro. i'm like what's going I just on can't imagine being confrontational and aggressive enough where you would need to pick a fight because you did not make reserve, a reservation like everybody else at the at the bar i was like what the like hello? What is it? also it's bar trivia get a yeah. grip it's literally not serious in the slightest i, I just, it couldn't be more the unserious. fact that it happened twice is crazy also, yeah. I told Ashley this. Someone called me That's a true. bitch outside of trivia a few weeks ago, too. What the I fuck? I know. Yeah. This is okay. Here's the story. Here's what happened. Yo, <laughs> getting crazy. Trivia is getting crazy for no reason. I'm catching strays all the time. Also, like, I have nothing to do with any it's of this. Fucking trivia. What happened the night that I was called a bitch? First of all, the man that called me, the man, the man that of called me a bitch. Of course it was. Yeah, naturally. He seemed unwell. Like, he seemed like something yeah. was going on. Well, I mean, he must Clearly. have been. Well, we walked outside of trivia. We came in second. So we got like a bag of coffee beans. And this was two days after I gave myself mold poisoning via mm. my coffee maker. So we got the coffee beans. And usually when we win coffee beans, my friends give them to me because I'm the only yeah. one with a coffee grinder. Right. So I took the beans and I was like, are we sure no one else wants these? I have trauma from the week that I've had. <laughs> and this guy overheard me say that and just like, took it upon himself to make all these assumptions about why I didn't want the coffee beans. And he started lecturing me mm -hmm. about like a lot of people be grateful for those beans. You should go donate them somewhere. I was like, I was making a joke. Like I, I threw up two days ago because I gave no, myself no, 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 mold no, no, no. poisoning via a coffee Stop. machine. Like this is a joke. Who? I'm so sorry. He's acting like these are like, Oh, non perishable. <laughs> Who the Buck is going to be like, oh, I'm so grateful I have these ungrinded <laughs> coffee beans. I know. <laughs> but like, I was like, this is a weird thing that this stranger just started like getting <laughs> yeah. weird with me. So I was just like giggling and we're like the whole group of us is like starting to walk away. And then he like calls me a bitch. And I was like, I were walking away. I like look at Robbie and Jordan. I was like, <laughs> did he just call me a bitch? <laughs> we were all like gobsmacked. I yeah. mean, I was laughing. I thought that was funny, but I'm like, this is now three <laughs> incidents over some coffee over beans. the last few months where it's like people are I'm catching strays for no fucking reason at trivia. Well, you're like the baddest bitch at trivia. Allegedly. I'm like, it's what true. the hell is going on? I've been going for two years and That's now it's rules. like back to back to back. We've got all these fucking haters coming out of the woodwork. 
Also, I am so non-confrontational. Right. Like when people started being mean, my friends were like giving them middle fingers and being like, <laughs> fuck you guys. And I was like, guys, I'm mortified. literally so scared Stop, right please. now. Like, I'm, like, I'm like if you're gonna pick fights with any of them uh, like really just i should sure be I'm the one there. to pick with because i'm not gonna fight back i'm gonna be like i'm like nobody look at me oh my god i'm gonna giggle and walk away <laughs> like i'm just not gonna fight back at all and i've learned this about uh, myself now but the good thing is i have friends that will fight for me that's true <laughs> so. i would fight for you it's true this is why i needed bestie hours because we've mm-hmm. just I had know. quite the fucking week mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you really did yeah um, what the fuck is going on (laughs) quite the fucking quarter (laughs) for sure q1 went crazy crazy. yeah the numbers on q1 when we rounded up the stats was really looking quite wild obviously i am the ceo of lover girls worldwide yes oh yeah a lot of people know this and ceo it's been like talked about like Mm -hmm. this is like pretty clear yeah now, we've been hotly debating who would be the CEO of Lover Boys Worldwide. And oh. Robbie has thrown LeBron James into the mix. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is how it started. Cook, we were talking about LeBron James and how he's just like, he's more sensitive and more like mushy gushy than people would know. <laughs> okay. Robbie's a huge LeBron fan. So he I've been this. I've been exposed to like many LeBron I've brain full of lebron facts now okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. so that's so then i asked them i was like who who do you think like should be the ceo of lover boys worldwide and we were getting like h- hotly into this debate because jonah also thought that lebron stood a good chance stood a good chance oh, of yeah, being, yeah, yeah. being yeah. the recruit his, like initial choice maybe i i don't know jonah was showing me a lebron video the night before so like mm-hmm, he was like mm-hmm. top of mind. Like I don't know if he would have been like number wow. one, but like he was certainly like a high ranking candidate. Yeah. And and kind of a fun one because you wouldn't expect it to be totally. LeBron. Like it's probably not LeBron. Let's all be clear here. Right. But like right. it's kind of like <laughs> sure. it's kind of fun. But it that, could like, be. Yeah, it, it it's might kind be. Of I'm happy to hear it out. Like yeah. I'm like yeah. that yeah. name was thrown out and I was like, okay, tell I'm me more. Yeah. Like it wasn't a name that I immediately shot yeah. down. <laughs> Right, right. I can think of oh you know what name they said that what did Jonah said this immediately shot down Drake I said <laughs> get him out of here yeah. Drake no, wants no. so fucking badly to be lover boy I shot down lover Drake worldwide yeah. immediately no, okay I was the baby with a gun Drake in that is moment not a lover boy <laughs> Drake is even though he's titled his album lover boy mm-hmm. yeah no he just that that I don't trust he, no i don't trust that mm-hmm. specifically no, he's not he he's it's all it's all a farce like yeah. it's all just like yeah. he, it's a it's a character he plays yeah he's not like but you had some other you had some actually like pretty good yeah. and kind of surprising i had options. two answers yeah. that i said i was kind of taken I'm aback willing to, by <laughs> listen like, i've had, got I, two recommendations I'm willing to change my they're not what you're that. expecting they're not what you're expecting for all. sure but they're like well one of them might be exactly yeah, what you're yeah, expecting yeah. but the other me. one definitely the not. other one isn't yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> all right get in there okay. the let's first it, one that is like exactly what you'd expect me to say right. is ethan klein of course right ethan klein is my personal ceo of lover boys worldwide i've witnessed that man cry on the internet Mm -hmm. several times yeah he treats his wife (laughs) beautifully they have wonderful children together like i just he's a real family man to me right and i just trust him but would he want to be the ceo of liverpool see this i don't don't know he would want this i don't know my second Mm -hmm. recommendation and this (laughs) is controversial this is the controversial one okay gordon (laughs) ramsay excuse me Gordon Ramsay. Please elaborate. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Why? As the CEO of Lover Bros. Why? Lover Boys Worldwide. Because I feel like I just, <laughs> I just like I Chef Gordon Ramsay. Chef That's Gordon not... Ramsay. Okay. Okay. First of all, huge, <laughs> sure. huge fan of all of his shows. Yes. 100%. Kitchen Nightmares, Hotel Nightmares. I agree. Hotel nightmares, Hell, nightmares. whatever the hell they're Hell's doing kitchen, over there. Nightmares. I love them, okay? I'm <laughs> okay. eating it up. I am a consumer of Gordon's art, mm-hmm. if you will. Me too. Mm-hmm. I believe, first of all, I don't think he's mean. Uh, no, no, it's an act. He's, first of all, he's an actor. He's well, a performer. He's an entertainer. Everything he, every time he yells at someone, it's deserved. <laughs> yeah, that's Like, they always true. do the most insane things. Like, I, right. I've watched the most of all of his shows. I watch Kitchen Nightmares the most. Mm. 
the people who run those restaurants are usually like the most narcissistic Mm -hmm. like just cutting corners at the like expense of the customer ass people on the planet gordon is so team customer he's a champion so nice to the customers always he's yelling at the people that are in charge when they are not treating the customers correctly and whenever gordon interacts with children he is like the nicest person ever sweet he wants chef kids literally the fucking greatest show to ever hit gordon is a man of the people he is Mm -hmm. he cares Mm -hmm. about making sure that the people in power the people Mm -hmm. in charge Mm -hmm. are held accountable for their shitty management and like leadership positions okay that exactly is a fucking lover boy (laughs) if i've ever seen one he's got the greater good on his mind completely Wow, um, that was a curveball. I did not expect you to say Gordon. <laughs> this no. is why I, we, we glad talked Gordon about it for like at least an hour. Yeah, just we were like going, going back and forth this. with different options. So, huh? I know. Maddie suggested Jack Black as like a potential. Oh, Jonah yeah, yeah, suggested yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Black. Oh, I, I agreed Jack enthusiastically. Black. Yeah, I said he, for sure. Have you seen so the holiday? Good. Yeah. Have you seen literally anything he's ever been in ever? I think we need Jack Black and more rom coms. Mm. Uh, bring him back please like i like i'd love a resurgence of that me completely too. Mm-hmm. me too um i'm also gonna throw a little bit not so much of a curveball but possibly i don't i don't know if i mm-hmm. believe this but i'm willing test to it put out, it, test it out on the table mm. mr worldwide himself uh, and i suggested him Pitbull. <laughs> but actually yeah. actually can right. i just say ashley suggested him and immediately <laughs> threw her own suggestion <laughs> under the bus and, and was true. like I take it back, guys. No, he's probably <laughs> no I know. Artist, I know that he's he not. The people he, going. he respects. Like, no, no one is going harder for International <laughs> Women's well, Month than okay, this man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To, like, in, in, in song promotion, though. Right. Which is worth noting. <laughs> Selfishly promoting <laughs> his <laughs> International Women's Day song. He's like, how can I make this about me? <laughs> so, like, if we could maybe survey what he was like last right, International right. Women's Month in comparison to this one, that would be huge for the numbers game here. <laughs> No, I don't right. actually think it should be Pitbull, but I do think I do think great uh, candidate. Okay, yeah. someone yeah. to just keep in mind. Yeah, please keep an open mind about it. I don't think like CEO. Uh, yeah, maybe like assistant uh, manager. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like something. Give this man something. CMO actually. <laughs> CMO. Like, like you know that his heart's in the right place. It's definitely like a little problematic, and you yeah. don't want to give him like too much power. Yeah. But you're yeah. like, but he's got he's got some potential sure you know yeah and with his his heart's in the right place i yeah i think he could definitely be in the c-suite i don't know if he could be the ceo i'll also say i actually just feel like as soon as you asked me that question i just blanked (laughs) on every man i've ever known yeah (laughs) i know i mean that's honestly so real i'm like sitting here and i'm like do i even like listen or consume yeah, any media do I know anything about men? a man like, i don't i don't know um yeah well that's I why know. i think my answers immediately went to like two men whose media i consume oh the fairly you know regularly right. said possibly theo vaughn yeah we okay. theo vaughn was thrown it's out a there. candidate it's a candidate i need to learn more but like here's the thing though because my thing is like i think the reason why i'm like Ethan Klein and Gordon mm. Ramsay were the top of my brain is because I'm like, I, they are men that I enjoy consuming content from. Yeah. Yeah. So there must be something. I, I just like, I like them. I, I, there's something about them that I'm just like, I like you. Mm-hmm. You're a good one. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm like, it's hard to say that about a lot of other yeah. people. Famous men. Especially. Without knowing more. Totally. Totally. What about Frank Ocean? Hmm. Okay. I would, I There's would, a case for that. There's I would entertain that suggestion. That. He might be on the ballot. There's a case to be made. There is a case to be made for right. sure. I could see that. He's definitely got lover boy energy. For sure. He is, um, he is a lover boy. This is interesting though. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we need to make a, a spreadsheet with brackets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we do a big like competition for who gets, we need yeah. to like cast uh, like the whole we're hiring for every role in the yeah, company right. currently yes, yes, yes. like currently we have guys it is rough out here we have no fucking leadership it's tough lover boys worldwide get it fucking together we need to get some clear direction it's in true. the in the overhead it's happening hard. here 
Well, that's so, the issue is I think that like we need to have some better there marketing. There is like happening. nobody in charge <laughs> at the Lover Boys <laughs> Worldwide Office. It's fucking out headquarters. Of literally, is literally nobody in there. It's like that scene <laughs> in SpongeBob <laughs> in his brain where he's yeah. like forgotten his name and they're yeah. scrambling yeah. to like yeah. find the. Fo- that's exactly what it's like. <laughs> at and listen, hq people are banging down the doors they're ready to become customers and like Ooh. they really want to connect with the people inside there's <laughs> fucking nobody up there <laughs> we've got to fill those room. offices fill those desks right get the numbers starting up starting with gordon ramsay starting Ethan with Klein, gordon ramsay Ethan and pitbull and frank ocean <laughs> <laughs> and now the decorations are, completely decorations on the floor. are falling apart <laughs> okay this is a great start so in your personal c-suite at Lover mm. Girls USA, at Lover Girls, Lover Girls mm. Worldwide. Worldwide, mm. please. Do you have any positions kind of like fleshed out, okay, decided this is, upon? This is, I haven't thought about this. Yeah. Because mm. obviously, you know, it but takes, I will have to. takes a team. It takes a village. I mean, yeah. we need your leadership. This is so yeah. true. But Can I just say gut instinct? Yeah, get in there. Gut instinct. Yep. I literally, I've <laughs> gut instinct Tell right us. now when you ask me that, I need Drew Barrymore on my team yes. completely. Yes, Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, Drew Barrymore was such an easy sweetie. get her in there. Yes, get her and in there. Drew 100%. Barrymore for sure Absolutely. on the board. I, I feel so good about <laughs> yeah. that. I love her yeah, so yeah. much. No, I feel literally like, so good about that. Who else is like an easy wow. in to yeah, the board Drew of Yeah, Drew Barrymore directors. has such a, you can just tell. She yeah. has a good heart. I love a her. Sweet you can just through tell. Through completely. Yes. Do you know who could be a potential lover boy? Who? who? Okay, this is like very fucking specific. But I was um, going down a thread that like made me cry the other day and I got really emotional because you guys know, um, I don't know if you'll know them, but Rick and Dick Hoyt, the I dad, no idea who that you is. don't know them? No. They're the father son duo where the son um, had some kind of like disability and he was in a wheelchair hmm. and the father ran like over 30 Boston marathons with him and they oh, both okay. just passed away like a few years ago but oh. like it was such a beautiful love and there's like a statue I think like in Hopkinton or hmm. in Boston somewhere but basically like this dad loved his son so much and they did triathlons together his, the father pushing the son mm-hmm. the father like swimming with the son and um, just like a really like beautiful testament. And the son basically said at like one point that when he was running, like he just felt so alive. And like wow. his father like always wanted to give him that like feeling. I'm also totally like quoting this like a little wrong, but like <laughs> it was like, it's like a really moving story. And I remember being at the Boston Marathon for yeah, years because well. they were called like Team Hoyt. And so right. like every year, whenever we'd see Team Hoyt, it would just be like immediate tears because it's like mm-hmm. such a beautiful, like, story of like perseverance and strength and like real like love from like a father to a son okay so i love this submission to the yeah to the ring right so i don't know much about like his like personal life but i do know that like in terms of showing up as like a father like mm-hmm. in with the limited information that i do have it was pretty moving so yeah. it is really moving something to consider and like list. he went like he they, they'd run marathons and he'd be like old like they they both died um, the son, like last year, and him a few years ago. They, their mm-hmm. last marathon was in like 2015 or something. Mm-hmm. So oh, it's wow. like they, and again, like w- someone will really need to fact check this, but yeah. like it was still like recent. Like he was like, I remember when, when I'd see him running the marathon, he was like an older mm-hmm. gentleman, and it was like really hmm. beautiful. Yeah. No. Tough act to be. I know. He could be like a board member. You know, yeah. I yeah, still think right. maybe not fit for like CEO, but like definitely yeah. like an advisor. We're actually, we're holding an election in like three <laughs> months. <laughs> so submit your, anybody that you think could hold a position. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I want to see what people think. At, at any, right. any branch of this company. Yes. Literally yes. anyone on earth. Yeah. Anybody that you think needs to, this is a part of like the lovers conglomerate. Yeah. Right. In right. any <laughs> branch, in any, yes. any, anything. We've forgotten all men. We're going to have an election. To know, so there's yeah, a yeah. lot of people that we're not even totally. just beginning. Election so season is coming up, guys. Make yep. sure your voice is heard. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Tell us who needs to be. Put those names on the ballot. Put yeah. into the board. Yep. And I will, at the ripe age of 27, make a fake bracket. Yeah. And mm. have I all of you know. vote in a Google form. And yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do this. I we'll play pretend know. at the sleepover. I want to know. I mean, is this really pretend? And it's not. And that's the thing that 
you know, I'm covering up right now because people aren't brave enough to know that it's none of it's pretend. Mm-hmm. But um, this is a real business soon that, they'll know. that we run. Soon yeah. they'll know. So <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Actually, Lover Boys Worldwide is owned by Lover Girls Worldwide. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, exactly. it's true. We've recently acquired them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> They've been absorbed. <laughs> They've been absorbed by the company. Um, yeah, I mean, tough, tough for their leadership right now. Yeah, it's really, but. Yeah. It, we can only go up, guys. Yeah. It's true. And I've said this. She's, I've been hearing it. <laughs> She's this. been saying She has been this. saying <laughs> that we can literally only go up from here. Right. I also think this comes at a very opportune time mm. with, like, the the downfall of dating apps that we're witnessing. Yep, right. yep, right. Yep, yep. Nobody wants them anymore. Nobody's right. on them. We literally don't care. It's time for a massive restructuring yeah. in the lover conglomerate enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. okay because the people are like desperate for new leadership they yeah, really are so true okay so um question <laughs> who was the previous ceo oh. of lover boys worldwide there never was yeah yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> like, that feels was right fired so they actually okay. never picked a leader well, they were just CEO all in the office Lord founder. Of <laughs> she was she's responsible you know they like, actually just rented whatever. out the building and then we're like fuck Dude, I now loved what? talking to that realtor, and that was about it. Their their biggest business was just renting out different <laughs> offices every year, <laughs> where they could just. And hang now out. we've got so many positions to fill. Mm-hmm. There's such a demand. Someone's just oh, got to get in there. Wow. wow. So we're going to. Mm-hmm. So let 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 me know what you're thinking, what your thoughts and feelings are. <sighs> And we will set up an election, our first formal election. This will be a Let's real, a real true <laughs> democracy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no fucking electoral college. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, another thing about Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Okay. So bring it back. Okay. I'm not gonna ruin anything like, for you. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. He's the still way fine. you were He's looking at me. I felt like you were about to be like, mm, I hate <laughs> to tell you this. <laughs> no, no. I would literally never. Version and this. before any of you say anything about Gordon in the comments, don't. don't. Don't you even (laughs) fucking think about it. Leave me alone. (laughs) (laughs) Let me have one thing. (laughs) I'm begging you. No, I was going to say, I was thinking the other day that um, I feel like if um, I put Chef Gordon Ramsay in a competition with my grandma, she'd beat him. Mm. Like, I think if they had like (laughs) a Mm -hmm. cooking competition, Mm -hmm. if they were just to cook their like, you know, favorite. Grandma or Lord in the grave. Yeah, she would literally beat him out by a landslide i think you could beat him too <laughs> i mean your olive vodka fucking maybe Whoa. no i think you could you can make some mean possible. steak too i do make it i think she could steak. do it yeah, that's yeah. Crazy. easy some crazy garlic mashed potatoes i know okay. she could do it and here's I'm also a thing is i've seen gordon ramsay's hot ones interview mm. and much like many other brits he has zero spice tolerance mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah it's true like that's not to say that his stuff is bland there's so many different other like mm. seasonings and things but I just think that my grandmother has a more sophisticated palate than Gordon Ramsay. It's true. I wouldn't, you know what? I'd love to be the like test audience for that competition. Mm-hmm. Me too. Completely. Also, I just have a question. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I think I might've told you this when we weren't friends and we were just Whoa. in like the tour guide office way back. together. It okay. was so long uh, ago. And I was just, and this happened and I was like, I just need to tell everyone right now. Cause I'm like losing my mind over it. Um, do you know who Maddie has met? It's a certain celebrity chef. Do not tell me it was fucking Chef Aron. It was Guy Fieri. She has a picture <laughs> with him. And I made Triple it my D Facebook Guy Fieri. profile Triple D Guy Fieri. cover photo. Well, I and you, I showed I it. I showed picture. Hold on. Yeah, I actually literally um, had it set as her like Facebook cover it. photo for so I long. I love that. I, I thought it was like the craziest yeah. thing I just ever he seen. He did like, um, what was guy. it called? It was like, like a meet and greet? No, it was, it was, um. Oh fuck! Was it AOL that had like those little sessions mm. where they would do their? It's like in uh near like Astor Astor Place. They have like a studio that's like right yeah, on the street. And <gasps> they had like some. He had like a book launch or something, and he was being interviewed about it. <laughs> and wild. so we got tickets to go see him be interviewed about this like book launch, and he took selfies with everyone as wow. he was walking out. I mean, you can just tell he's a nice yeah. guy. Good guy. You can Completely. totally tell. I forgot that that existed. That's crazy. Oh, I, didn't. I also, forgot that I met him. Oh, Every I time. have not. <laughs> How could That's you? Destroyed. I will never forget. Yeah, no, that was. That's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. 
Also, every time I see a picture of you with brown hair, I'm like, who, the fuck who is, that? is that? No, it it, it, it was wrong. Literally, it, it wasn't so right. I've Crazy. never met her. No, we don't. No who idea who that no. is. Was that? Not a clue. Yeah, it is true. You were born Sometimes with purple that's hair. That's what I feel like when I look at myself with blonde hair. I was just going to say. Like when I look at myself in high school, yeah. when I had blonde hair, I'm like, no, literally, who is that? <laughs> literally who is that we've all been through a phase <laughs> <laughs> everybody who is not blonde has yeah. wanted to be blonde at some point in their for life sure. for sure for sure 100 percent. i understand it's fun to switch things up mm-hmm. yeah. it's fun to mix it sometimes up sometimes you've gotta just be a different person for yeah. a little bit <laughs> i'm just glad that you've leaned into your authentic yeah, natural like your natural purple. hair color yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly like it just, just embracing sense. myself as yeah. i am yeah exactly sure. my natural tone absolutely exactly. Did you remember to take your vitamins and supplements this morning? If you didn't, here's your friendly reminder. Because today's episode of Emotionally Online is sponsored by Care Of, a health and wellness company that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders straight to your door every single month. I have been a customer of Care Of for several years now. I remember being in college taking my care of vitamins every single morning before I went to class. I've been out of college for quite some time now, okay? It's been many a year since I've been in a college classroom. But I've been a fan of care of for years because it really is just the easiest place to get access to all of the various vitamins and supplements that I need. It's super easy to get started. All you have to do is take a short and simple online quiz about your lifestyle and health goals. Care of will take a look at your answers and then send you back some doctor backed recommendations for what vitamins and supplements could be best for your routine. They come in these very convenient and very cute individualized daily packs, but they actually did just start selling some of their vitamins in bigger bottles as well if you're more of a bulk shopper. I definitely notice a difference in how I feel when I'm super consistent with taking the vitamins and it's also great when I go to the doctor's office and I'm not vitamin D deficient. Huge. Huge news when I went to the doctor and I was no longer vitamin D deficient. (laughs) So if you guys are interested in upping your vitamins and supplements routine, you can get 50% off your first care of subscription when you go to takecareof.com and enter code emotionallyonline50. That is 50% off your first care of subscription order when you go to takecareof.com and enter code emotionallyonline50. I, oh my God, guys, I didn't i oh, totally forgot, forgot about this forgot. until right now in this very moment i kind of cheers oh how lucky are we cheers, cheers you guys let's fucking go oh my goodness one of the most horrible questions to be asked mm-hmm. <laughs> that i never have an answer to where do you see yourself in five years <laughs> <laughs> but i have recently remembered my answer to this oh. question it's been suppressed. Okay. My brain tried so hard to get rid of this memory. The question, of course, being, what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh, I know. Fuck. No, you don't know. No, I know mine. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I was going to say, I was going to say, I did not admit to anyone that this happened until about a week ago. Uh, this happened years ago. Oh. I told what no was one it? What was about it? this. Well, shit. Because for so long, I couldn't even like confront whether or not I oh, really should no. have been embarrassed about it. Right. Oh my God, what was I it? I know. I told Meg about this okay. like a week ago. I was like, let me test the waters. Let yeah, me tell yeah, one person yeah. about this and see how it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now I'm like, it's been years. I feel like I can talk about yeah. it now. But I often like, oh God. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I went uh, to the dermatologist okay. office for mm-hmm. a little checkup. First time in a few years that mm-hmm. I've been. And so since I was going to the dermatologist office, like I've been bombarded by this thought, okay. uh, this memory that's come flooding Tough. back to me. It's probably like 20, 2019, let's call it. Okay. I went to the dermatologist for the first time. Okay. And I got a bunch of moles on my back. Mm-hmm. You know, moles all over, really. Sure. That yeah. I want to get checked out. My mom has had skin cancer yeah. like mm-hmm. three times. So she's very big on like getting those moles checked out Mm -hmm. so 2019 i went to go get everything checked out for the first time with the dermatologist the problem is that they really don't fucking tell you anything when you go to Mm -hmm. the dermatologist they just assume that you know exactly what the rules and protocol are crazy now let me transport you back to what life was like in 2019 i had just stopped wearing bras for the first time i do remember so this was the first time in my life that i was like going through my day-to-day life just like raw dogging boobs in a shirt (laughs) i get to the dermatologist's office they put me in a room and they tell me nothing they tell me literally nothing they're just like just you know 
get ready and the doctor will be the dermatologist will be in here shortly oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm so nervous and i don't i think i didn't, I didn't know what that meant <laughs> Oh, no. so, of course it was vague it was vague it was they so said you vague. have to fail i literally no, didn't right, know right. so you're like 21 just, years old no. in my head i was like you were don't set stop. up to fail i don't know like in my head i was like i'm being insecure like just do what you think you're <laughs> supposed to do they have to look at my whole body so what i do yes. i got completely naked in this <laughs> of course, office. Of course, of course. i took off all my clothes and i just <laughs> <laughs> because i was in my head like okay this must be what oh i'm supposed to do like God. they have to check out my whole yeah, body totally. anyway so like it's i guess a dermatologist and then Come i was in my head, like they've seen boobs before yeah, like who gives a shit so i'm doctor literally <laughs> completely naked do they not have a gown for when, you or you just no i was just naked <laughs> <laughs> that's even fucking better and so i was in my head being like you're you're just insecure like shut up just take your clothes off so i'm sitting there waiting for them to come in the room just ass naked completely breathing butt naked in the door i'll just stop it so then are you sitting on the chair yeah i'm sitting on the just upright just waiting for them do they have like the tarp on the chair whatever they put like the doctor's oh, office yeah, for sure and Aww. it's like sat and upright there's no hospital gown so, no hospital gown <laughs> So then, <laughs> well, imagine the look on their face when they open up the fucking door and see me. <laughs> so How it do was you that. <laughs> there was two of them. It was like the dermatologist and the nurse, and they opened the door, and immediately when I saw the look on their face, I was like, I fucked up. <laughs> like I wasn't supposed to be naked, and I knew immediately. But I like sincerely, I couldn't oh, even no. confront it within my own mind until this month years afterwards of course. i after that moment i went home and i was like i'm not gonna google whether or not i was supposed to do <laughs> no, that like no. i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna move through my life as if Your i body made the does right choice what it has to do <laughs> in say, order to survive wait, wait. well first of all they said nothing to me they <laughs> no, just looked they, they, didn't acknowledge it. It. they didn't acknowledge no, it no no but no no i could <laughs> tell <laughs> wait what they weren't like why is this adult naked <laughs> they were Sorry, just like wait. okay we're gonna go for this <laughs> they didn't even they give you the no. opportunity no. no to take back a no. shred of your fucking no <laughs> no they didn't so they just they did not they just did the whole thing and i literally but the thing is when they sat there well, naked while they were like talking time like yeah. so like how just do it out all my holes. yeah so how were they supposed to do this before if if not you naked yeah so i will never know <laughs> i a little well, when I went in this past month, I did not get naked. <laughs> okay, okay. I simply sat there and waited for them to come back in. And then I had, I like removed clothing, like piece by piece. Okay, okay. okay. So like I took the back of my shirt off and kept it covering my boobs. And then okay. I lifted it up and lifted whatever. I just right. like moved my clothes around okay. so they could check things out, which is probably what I was supposed to do the first <laughs> well, then time. Why did they say like, get okay, ready? Right like, why did they well, tell you to like, yeah, that's part. I was like, I've never, I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> I was like, right. just trying to do what I think I'm supposed to do. Of course. But, yeah, no. The look on their face when they walked in, I knew I fucked up. <laughs> I felt like I was in good luck, Chuck. I when like, they didn't it was just like them. the woman with the boobs sitting there being examined and i was like i feel like that right now like i feel like i'm having like i'm being examined That's for like a, a so breast good. reduction or like they're just why are why are they here like they had no place at the dermatologist office but they were there completely <laughs> maddie that's really funny and i'm not kidding i've held it inside me for years because yeah, i I, I in my head i had to believe i had to tell myself in order to get through it <laughs> yeah. that i did the right thing and that i was supposed to do that. the right thing yeah. and it only like when i had to go to the dermatologist again and i had a normal experience because i didn't do that <laughs> have i been able to start you didn't know, you didn't know. to what <laughs> right. i had done in right. 2019. <laughs> You did the best with the information you and had. also yeah, so I will true. say when I went to the dermatologist this month, I had like two like bros that mm. were in the office. Like the dermatologist and the nurse were like very broy looking guys. Mm. The first time when I was naked, it was a gay man and a woman. Oh wow! Okay. So it the was like is on an your ideal situation yeah. that I had done such a thing in because if I had oh. the dermatologist <laughs> and the nurse that I had this month and I did that, I would have passed away <laughs> like i don't think i ever would have recovered that's crazy but now it's like 
whenever someone asks me what my most embarrassing moment is, I know exactly yeah. what to tell them. That's and it's so that. good. That's the worst thing yeah. I've ever done. That's really good. <laughs> I just can't imagine like being a doctor and just like walking in I and know. seeing a patient that clearly just like doesn't know. Just is naked for and, like, no reason. Why is she, she naked? It? Oh my God. Like, like I was the topic knew. at everyone's dinner that night. The if whole office knew. knew about me. The dermatologist and nurse went home like, you're not going to fucking believe oh, this one. They're still telling the story <laughs> to this day. They're still talking about it. To this day. Oh my God. <sighs> wow. But Mortifying. also like Loki, like it's not like, I, I mean, they've, like, I'm they've sure seen a lot. Happened like before. I'm sure it has. For like, sure. I'm sure I'm not the only one that went Naked. <laughs> wow that's so good i guess so general rule of thumb though. unless you're at the gynecologist keep those babies on keep it on <laughs> you know I what i've known <laughs> like, i wouldn't have known either he said get ready yeah, i know yeah. what was i, I, I supposed even, to think even at the gynecologist i'm like do i take off my shirt I do or think the, like, the lack of the <laughs> hospital yeah. gown do I get? Yeah. like well i've started <laughs> just winning and pooing it or like even like Whenever I go to any doctor now and they leave me in the room, I'm like, so what am I supposed to be doing? Right, right. <laughs> like, I well, always see, ask now. That's yeah. what I've learned as an <laughs> adult. I wasn't to. always as, like, If they brave. don't tell me, because sometimes they'll be, like, very explicit about it. Yeah. Right. They'll be like, do this, do this, do this. Doctor will be in shortly. <laughs> great i love those people right whenever they're not super clear i ask <laughs> yeah i always ask right that's <laughs> you learn the hard way only i knew that <laughs> Don't you, you learn like, the hard way that. yeah Tough. that's real as hell i <laughs> i don't know yeah just horrible and mortifying You're and i won't girl. do it again well, but I'm you fast. Never say never. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Never say i could do it again never, never. <laughs> i just for a little bit of thrill right i listen could be fun. <laughs> Could be fun. <laughs> what would your guys' answers be though? Like, do you have one, yeah. or is it like so a hard question? One. So okay. I have one. It's definitely not to like the same, nearly the same extent. <laughs> but I was definitely panicked at the time. Okay. So this was like definitely like 2017. Jonah and I had just started dating. Um, we're college students, and uh, you know, as college students who are newly dating, you're constantly in your backpack is constantly like all your clothing because you're like sleeping mm-hmm. over at sure. your partner's house, and you know, you're not living together, you're moving around. So I was in my very small twenty person class, and I looked down at the floor, and I notice, huh, my <laughs> dirty little underwear <laughs> is just. <laughs> right out on the floor <laughs> and we're halfway into class underwear. and i'm like okay interesting so this has been out for at least half an hour minutes. yeah, yeah no. at this point um now i have a decision did you have any like clear allies that like no could have seen that no. and told you and no like, no you knew well, they betrayed you in this like, moment is this a lecture hall or no a no smart... it's like a small it's pro- i think horrible. it was probably like honors college classroom too like it's like, like it's of the I don't have any allies, think... but everybody kind of knows me. But well, no one is friends because there's like okay. thousands of kids that are going to college. Sure. And we might, like, we might be like really... mid-semester right now. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's not a good situation. And it's not like I could even turn to oh. someone and be like, oh, my God, did you like. Yeah. So I'm, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> OK, so I have like two options. One, option number one, um, I leave it and just pretend that's not mine. I've <laughs> never seen that underwear before. I don't know what whose underwear is that. <laughs> Guys, my backpack. Who the fuck left like their underwear just, in this classroom? Like, have you seen the underwear on the floor? <laughs> Something fucked up was going on in here. Not my underwear. Crazy. Okay, the second option would be to try and discreetly take it and put it back into wow. my backpack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And right. um, hard. And I mean, Super. imagine if someone. I mean, saw I don't you. know how long it's been out there. Well, it's clearly also, like, it's been a while. <laughs> what if they saw you putting it back in and they're like, why is she stealing the underwear that was randomly fucking sitting here? And they don't think it's yours. It, it's horrible. There's so many options. It's a lose-lose situation. So I decided <laughs> that I would just leave it. And um, I think that was probably the best choice. I think choice. It's, it's all that really can be done. It was yeah. underwear that I liked. Um, but not enough. <laughs> yeah, no. You know, nothing. I wouldn't like point, anything enough right, to right. willingly acknowledge that that was mine <laughs> yeah. that I left. I mean, that's so funny. Think about the person that had to find those and then be like, <laughs> that's even better. Literally, I remember what the exact happened pair. here? It was a blue and white striped pair. <laughs> I have a pair like, similar to that. Like on the side. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no. Nope. 
so sad so yeah that's what i always think about when i think of my most embarrassing moment was when <laughs> i hard. looked down mid-class and realized oh ho, ho. <laughs> what's that <laughs> That's my Just underwear. So you know, that's good. Leaving some souvenirs for UMass. Exactly. Right. I mean, please. Yeah. It's not like they haven't seen it before. Leaving mark. Listen. You think UMass hasn't seen an underwear in yeah. every inch oh, of every please. classroom yes. everywhere? It's not a great please. point. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Underwear. It's riddled there with underwear. There was underwear just all over the campus all the time. There actually was. There was. I'm not there lying. There actually like, was. There actually <laughs> was. Like, like, you're looking at us like we're crazy. There literally was. Like, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, there were actually for the same reason. underwear all over the place. One time I lost a belt on campus only mm. to find it a couple days later. Slay. Because I was like, <laughs> I just had to, we, oh, it doesn't even matter. We were free gaming. I'd been to like two free games. I was fucking drunky and having a great time but i really had to pee we were walking to our destination and i was like i i can't hold it like we're like a mile away from where we have to be mm-hmm. like i'm just gonna pee right now behind this tree mm-hmm. sometimes it calls for and it. i just so my belt slipped out and i didn't notice and then like <laughs> next day i was like oh fuck like my belt and so on my way to class like a couple days later i just like walked by the tree to see and it was there nice <laughs> nice <laughs> nice founder Listen, people aren't touching the random articles yeah, of clothing yeah. that they discover no, on a Monday morning on campus. <laughs> that's like, wet. It's that's been rained cool. on. Probably. It's like snowing. Yeah. Like, you don't, no you don't want to touch that. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you For don't. sure not. Yeah. That's a good one, though. That is yeah, good. that's definitely that's really good. That's mine. I was pretty embarrassed. <laughs> like, yeah. I forgot about yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that there were just random articles of <laughs> clothing a screw <laughs> all over the campus. Yeah. <laughs> and same thing with, like, vomit. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you just see, like, vomit on the ground. No doubt. All over the dorms. You throws. just, yeah. But mm-hmm. think about it. A mm-hmm. lot of people were getting sick a lot of the time and oftentimes <laughs> outside. Like, they would just leave it there. Well, if you throw up, yeah. I mean, first of all, I we mean, had well, no, if, you, like, if you throw up like on the street, like what are you going to do? And if your whole campus but is But if street, it was like right outside my building, I might do something. No. Like if it was like near where people no. live, that like, would no. require having to admit that the vomit is yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've actually thought about this before <laughs> because there have been... I, I, I like frequently my like anxiety will manifest as me convincing myself that I'm going to throw up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is I've never this has never wow. come to fruition. But wow. that's constantly what happens. Mm-hmm. Like I'll panic so hard that my stomach will hurt and I'll be like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. And I'll be in my head being like, if I threw up right here, how would I even fucking handle this? Mm-hmm. Just walk away. And I've thought like if I threw up in my elevator, oh, would well, I that, just like I have to do something like, about yeah, it? Would you, I call the building? Would right. I? Yeah. I would. I don't even have their number. Oh. Well, then you have to go clean it up. Right. Exactly. That's why I'm like, just fucking I think that I would throw have some to. water on it. But even if it was like right outside my building, <laughs> yeah. if it's in the well, walkway, I think like I for sure you're would. also like you're yeah. also like an adult living in like an adult like apartment yeah. building like yeah in, at umass amherst <laughs> uh anything yeah, went that's it is real. a lawless land so and honestly like if it's just like out in the wilderness yeah right like in 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 you're like the, the middle trunk of, street. of a tree right oh, what are you gonna do i yeah. like but like if it was like in or around <laughs> somewhere that i could have the potential to clean it up yeah they for sure would mm-hmm yeah that's fair i think as an adult i definitely would do something about it if i could as like a 19 year old hungover college student yeah yeah i would just be like i have to excuse myself i have to throw up um brb <laughs> yeah. i'm just gonna throw up behind this building real quick and then i'm just booing a rally and coming right back see that's wild it's no me. problem i always think like <laughs> if i've never had i've never gotten sick in front of someone else Oh, like okay. it's or is <laughs> oh, that you know, oh okay okay <laughs> never mind i don't think that i have i think it's always been alone i've threw up in an uber before out the window oh. so me and that oh, driver wow, you're so brave oh. but he's the real. only one i think that's ever seen me in that yeah. state yeah. that's that's fair and i think that if anybody else were to see me in that state <laughs> i would literally pass away like i just yeah. can't imagine it i've thought of it before like <laughs> sometimes i'll be out with people and i'll start panicking and I'll be like mapping out where I could throw up mm-hmm. if I had to mm-hmm. inside my brain. <laughs> this is a constant thing that I'm doing no matter yeah. where I am. And I've thought before, like if it happened at trivia, would I go to the bathroom or would I go outside? And the truth is that I would run outside and go about two blocks away Smart. and do it in like, 
in, in the in, privacy in, in your own vicinity dark in an area way. where of nobody course. could see me and then i would come back and be like so sorry guys i just like had to take a phone call <laughs> i wouldn't tell anybody i would lie there's no, no way that anyone no. like it's just if i went to the bathroom i'd be like what if somebody heard me like it's i don't want anyone to know that that is something that i'm yeah. happy yeah. like i'm going through it needs to be a completely personal experience i so, respect that one of my worst traits in my opinion <laughs> Uh, is that when I don't sleep enough, I can't hang. I can't just like be a normal person about it. I throw up over it. That's I've been a witness. And so Mika funny. has seen this happen where like I and tried to push so a well. little harder than I should have to go pick I Tommy up at the airport. I think. At all. Yeah, it was. And we had to pull over so I could vomit because I was too tired. <laughs> we were That's like, wild. We, we would have normally been like 20 minutes from and, home. Like, yeah. By yeah. the way, so it was like, it was like, 10 30 p.m no, literally like, it, it wasn't like, like it wasn't like, like like it wasn't like it, it was just you like landed at like 10 you know i, mean, I just like, like i just needed to go to bed Throwing and i up didn't from exhaustion listen to my at 10 30 p.m <laughs> like when i don't listen to my body's sleep schedule well, my body is like okay you know, so we're gonna punish you for that yeah yes. you you should have been a little more intuitive well here's the thing your body. Though, you you knew when it was going to happen 100 what would have normally been a 20 minute drive home turned into like a 40 minute drive home because they were doing construction on yeah. Sturrow drive. We all had to like merge into one lane. Yeah. We like <laughs> literally like just couldn't, we couldn't go any faster. So we literally had to pull over like well, through the cones. Hundreds of cars were just watching. Watching. Me. <laughs> it was like that. I mean, maybe that's another candidate for my most embarrassing story. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have thrown up so much in the last 10 years only because you're so um, brave she really is I, she really yeah. is there's I like nothing no worse to me i know i know it's it like no scares me i, I get it, like it scared does, it scares after. me well i'm scared I don't before like it. i'm scared after yes, i'm scared 100%. for the next week yeah i need I, to be like comforted but i also kind of don't want to be touched but i'm so scared yeah, I want that nobody I need to comfort. know what it's happening yeah because also the other thing is, is I'm very aware that when somebody tells me that they threw up, that means I'm having a panic attack about throwing up. Now. Yeah. Oh, I oh, can't. Yeah. I cannot hear someone like say to me, even if it's like, I yeah. know that there's <laughs> no reason why I would also throw up. Yep. Like if somebody is like, yeah. I drank so much, I just threw up outside. My brain is like, hmm? and you're next, bitch. Like it's like all of a sudden, like I go like sprung into panic wow, mode the yeah. second I hear that. You cannot be around me when I'm hungover. Yeah, don't talk to me. To keep it to yourself. Honestly, don't talk to me either when I'm hungover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually trying my hardest to not throw up in those moments. But I was like, the second I hear it, I'm like in my in my brain going ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Like I'm calming myself down completely. No, no. no college Mika had no shame i still have no shame but like in particular those four years were a very yeah. interesting mm -hmm. time for me yeah yeah, yeah. I, you know i feel like too like when you're on the campus it's just kind of like well it's like it's the campus culture it mm. just feels fake too yeah. it's like we're it in is. a world where like everybody's the same age we all have very similar interests and we're just trying to have a good time yeah we're just trying to have a good time <laughs> yeah. and maybe make out with someone tonight sure and like okay we're yeah. all on the same page Fair so enough. what the fuck do i have to hide yeah yeah, yeah. you know i'm not the only one throwing up at this party tonight sure <laughs> okay <laughs> like one of the this is not i wouldn't say an embarrassing moment but um one of the biggest like bonding moments between me and my college roommate andy yeah <laughs> was uh tour de france yeah Please. which i know the one um ashley and i were tour guides in college in case and you couldn't tell by everything about us in case you just were curious <laughs> <laughs> we love our school <laughs> <laughs> but um we when i was first hired as a tour guide this is our sophomore year um andy is like a year and a half older and they turned 21 in december of like mm. our sophomore year and i was turning you know whatever 20 like a few months later so they were like our first friend who is like 21 years old and we're like oh, fuck yeah finally yeah. we have the plug so we have this brilliant idea of throwing a tour guide party called tour de france yeah, which i'm sure many other schools have which is just like a fucking keg race basically <laughs> but like or a case race but with fucking franzia yeah. where like you split off into groups mm -hmm. and you chug a box of franzia as quickly as humanly possible this is wild. and whoever does it first wins whoever whichever team does it first wins 
<laughs> so we made the mistake. This is our first year doing it. We didn't have any fucking rules, really. Right. Yeah. We you didn't have a strategy. We didn't have a strategy. A couple over the next couple of years, we we instated many rules. Yes. rules and regulations. Many rules and regulations. A board was established. An election was held. Exactly. Yes, yeah. exactly. But this was a trial period. Yeah. You know, it's the first time ever. We, for some reason, uh, Andy was on my team. We decided that we wanted to do like a like a red wine. I couldn't even tell you why we mm-hmm. decided that. Obviously, like. If you were going to chug a shitty wine, it's got to be like a white or like a yeah. rosé. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck did we do that? I have no idea. <laughs> Beside the point, not only did we have that, we'd had like some fucking, I don't know, frozen drinks that we made in like a blender in one of our dorms before. We did Tour de Franzia and then we, which was also in a dorm, <laughs> and then we went to a different party afterward in which... One of our friends, this is Marie, mm. burst into the room and was like, who wants shots? And was just pouring <laughs> vodka down our throats. I blew vodka down our throats. Not three hours later, Andy and I are back in our room. I have no recollection of how I got home that night. Mia Bruno took us home mm. via Uber. I don't, I do not remember that <laughs> Uber ride at all. I don't, the only reason I know that is because she later in later years told me. Yeah. We get into our dorm and andy and i respectively sitting in our beds literally hugging our fucking garbage cans just fucking oh projectile God. vomiting <laughs> like it I, it was probably one of the grossest nastiest most horrible experiences horrible. of my entire college experience <laughs> like that's it was, terrible uh, so horrible um we have obviously we bonded a lot after that and um yeah. it was crazy i mean i had to just strip naked i was like i'm covered in vomit <laughs> yeah. I've, I've ruined a book i was reading yeah. i was like gotta wash these bed sheets this is not looking good for me i just wouldn't come it just wouldn't stop and it was also bright fucking red uh, because we were just gross. chugging red wine like fucking yes. horrible terrible so terrible. i have terrible, a question terrible. for you guys i have another tour de franzia specific memory and i need to know i need you to help me understand Crazy. the thought process on how i this already know happened. where you're gonna you know say where i'm going i already know what you're gonna say. so we had a certain person who um at a tour de franzia yeah. um we'll started... call him terry okay terry. So terry everybody welcome to the stage terry, terry. Woo. okay so um <laughs> Terry, very early on into the night, um, we look over uh, in the kitchen and the lights are fully on. And Terry, who is a guy, is shirt off, full making out well, with someone. Someone who is a guest that most of us have, none of us have ever met. Okay, so I've like been a plush thinking shirt about this. Someone else so is shirt choice. Here's the thing. We, no one knows. No one ever saw him take it off. And kept going for like. Like, this was, like, a long, like, makeup session. They were making it for half an hour. I've been thinking about this for years, and I'll tell you why. I'm very curious at what point he felt, you know what? I got to take my shirt off. Did he take it off? No, he definitely took it off. I bet it was him. You don't think that (laughs) No, I think the other party, there is always a possibility that the second party involved. But it's low. It's low. But knowing, (laughs) if you know who this person is. Right. There is a 99.99999 chance <laughs> that he is the one that took it off. And I can almost guarantee, I don't know if he took it off before they started making well, that's out. That's what I always wonder. Okay. Like, do you or, like, stop the makeup to be like, <laughs> you know what? There's 60 people here. You know what I'm going to do right yeah. now? I'm going to take this off and we're going to continue. In the most well-lit yeah. room in the entire house. I don't know. Maybe he had, was like, discreet. <laughs> he had, like, magic well, we mic aspirations. Yeah, and I bet he did. <laughs> At that moment in time. He just he wanted to, did. like, put on a real show. He did. That expanded beyond <laughs> just the person that was brought up on stage. This and is, like, did. Chip and Dale's <laughs> Vinnie Guadagnino <laughs> debut on stage. This is... <sighs> This was the starting point. It was art. And you know what? What is succeeded because we're still talking no, about it I, years I, later. I, that was. I will please, never talk forget about a that. party trick. If, okay. Well, here's the thing. If somebody did that, <laughs> like if I was making out with someone at a party and they took off their shirt <laughs> mid makeout, I would be so <laughs> confused. But I'd be like, like, where is this going? This guy's wild. <laughs> this crazy is wild. Bro. Like, I have no idea why he just took it's his shirt off. Like, like, are Jersey we going to fuck right here? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Well, see, well, that's why it begs the question. Did he do it during the makeout or yeah. before? I still okay. I'm like, this, this yeah, was, this would change it entirely. But, like, like, the I enticing I think part I, to her. I think he had his clothing on during the other parts of the party. He did. <laughs> also, <laughs> tr- to also, like, it well, wasn't no. like everyone, it wasn't like an outside party where, like, most right. of the guys had their shirts sure. up like this is like an indoor party vibe 
it's like fucking November. Clothes yeah, are in on. New England. Yeah, clothes it's were on. Sure. Like not a lot of pants. But like, right. A lot of college students were cutting costs. Literally, the heat doesn't come on until December. Yeah. 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 All right. Like, let's be honest. It's kind of chilling in this house. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody ever found out. You never got to the bottom of this. I've been wondering to this day. I I choose to believe that he took it off mid makeout. Which I I love. I I love that narrative. I love that version of the story. We choose to see the world the way we want to. (laughs) Like we can build our own realities. The crazy thing is, is that like neither neither option is like out of the ordinary for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean it has to be one of the two. It does have to be one of the two because like, it happened. I <laughs> wonder if it was like a shot. tactic, you know, like a like a okay, like we're thing. flirting, and all of a sudden, take like, a look I'm at this. Take, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you like what you got so far. <laughs> take a look at what's next. <laughs> <laughs> they were like hardcore making out too. Yeah, no, it wasn't like it wasn't like that's <laughs> like, like that's really like, going funny so is because in. it was like it was like <laughs> I should not. I, 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 I shouldn't be I here. <laughs> Take it to the room. You guys know that you're at a full party right oh, now? It's crazy. Like, what's going but, on? And you know what's crazy, too? It's like, you know, I can't even, like, really judge him that much. Because, no. yes, he's done some other crazy things that are worth storytelling. But, like, Tour de Franzia is notoriously a ridiculous night. It's yeah. notoriously just, like, he was getting loose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really easy to get loose after you've For chugged sure. a fucking quarter Can of you a Franzia him? box. No, no. I, I, and I don't blame him. Maybe we would have taken our shirts off mid makeup. Well, I wasn't even really wearing pants. So anything is My possible. team decided we were going with a risky business theme. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huge. So I was just wearing like some spandex and a <laughs> button down shirt and some fucking socks. So it's not out of the question that it in wasn't. another universe, it was you that took your shirt off. Wow. I mean, maybe in another dimension. Who's to say I didn't take my shirt Whoa. off that night? Parallels. Yeah. Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> I do In love that, universe. though. All I'm saying, there's a lot to be grateful for. No, we love There is so much to be College, grateful for, you guys. We met quite a few characters yes. mm-hmm. so that many I good still characters. think about to this day. Yeah. And With gratitude and, and yes. questions. And I think Terry is probably our, our top mentioned character definitely. of all time. Definitely. Yeah. He's definitely. got a lot of really, really good stories. Okay. And um, a hundred percent of them are lies and fake. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we remember <laughs> that them he forever. has told us, right? Yeah. But the stories that we have about him observing him <laughs> are, are true. Completely are true. true. Yeah, <laughs> that really yeah. did happen. Actually, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the stories we have about him, all true. <laughs> Anything you've ever heard him say, don't believe. Well, if you've heard what he said, <laughs> you would you little... wouldn't believe it either. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to meet him. Yeah. Let's honestly. invite him tomorrow. Yeah, this is fascinating. I think that if we can rally together and somehow get him to the party tomorrow, yeah, I wish alongside the baby with a gun, Should it we could be huge for us. Talk about who else we're trying to get. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yes. So oh there's someone else we're really trying to get to come to this party, um, and it's not that far off from a reality. No, no he and is hard to get a hold of. Hard to get a hold of because he's so but locked. We in. have connections. Yeah, we have we a lot. We have like an exorbitant amount of connections. <laughs> Actually, Listen, which is not that shocking considering he has the most LinkedIn connections of any person. <laughs> very true. He's but so have, locked in. We have mm-hmm. more interpersonal connections than you would even know about. It's true. It's actually so, so Some true. of you might know who this is and some of you might not. And if you don't, you're Get missing with out. it. You're missing yeah. out. Get in there. Honestly. Okay. Lock in. Yes. Dial in. Like, it's links in time. the description. Links in the description. <laughs> We're, of course, talking about Davis Clark, LinkedIn's Icon, final boss. Legend. LinkedIn's final boss, who's been absolutely taking the internet by storm. We love him. Yeah. Huge We're fans. Huge fans. Huge yeah, fans really over there. But he went we to UMass. Him. Yes. So this he is where in, the connections like, start to come in. We were in classes together. Yeah. He was in the business school. I yeah. was in the business yeah. school. We Listen. passed by each other many times. Yeah. We're at similar parties. He follows Ashley on Instagram. He follows it's Ashley on Instagram. True. He follows your roommate on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, we have a bunch of like mutual friends. Listen, like, we got yeah, so tons. many connections. Yeah, we've got so a bunch many. of mutual friends. Same graduating class. Yeah, yeah. We've literally met him. It's so true. Like we, we, we know him. Maybe not like super personally, but like. No, it's true. We've got connections. We've got people that are on the inside. Mm-hmm. yes and like we're me. just like kind ashley of. Kind, of. kind of your mutual followers but you're in there yeah. for yeah. sure yeah yeah and we've got others i'm locked in she's locked in we're baby. just trying to get him we're just trying to get him here because it would be really fucking it would make hugely our monumental yes. 
it would just it would mean the world to us it would be We're manifesting yeah. it yeah yeah so i mean by the time he's this podcast episode comes out he's not even a local celebrity no he's just completely he's just surpassed a celeb, that in the period. last three months yeah and you're right by the time this episode comes out we'll know whether know. or not he showed up well when my i didn't because i knew about him through you guys and then when my like new york friends started yeah. sending me his videos on instagram i was like this guy's big time now yeah i've got yeah. random fucking people from new york dming me his videos like this guy and fox he's like, he's like <laughs> such a like, like anyone i love this guy has ever met him or known him like over the years says that he is just like the nicest most kind yeah. yes. like supportive like that is all real like he mm-hmm. actually yeah. is just a really good dude doing his best trying to inspire and help others just trying like, to get yeah. in there yes hit those spreadsheets like, what is not to love kill q1 and Come q2 on. and do even better in q3 and q4 yeah yeah, yeah he Prove is those haters genuine wrong. he's earnest he yeah. is honest and kind and we transparent love and thoughtful and he's just like a cool guy and deserves all of his fucking accolades and we would yeah, love for him definitely. to be at our fucking birthday party it's true yeah we're obsessed and i think did it we, we think he's the coolest yeah yeah we do yeah very happy yeah. for him how could you not love him so i mean listen by the time this podcast episode comes out, we'll know if we managed to pull the invite of the century off. But uh, who knows? We'll if see. not, regardless, support Davis Clark. Okay. Always. Yeah. Go follow him. Davis.Clark on Instagram. And you will Maybe love like him too. connect with him on LinkedIn. Yeah. Hugely popular on Maybe LinkedIn. Maybe we should be DMing him on LinkedIn. <laughs> Maybe this is, that. you know, we, we haven't even considered that what this is maybe the better What if we're connected on way. LinkedIn? Mika. Hold on, Time Mika out. might be connected. Mika, hold up, hold, hold up. up. <laughs> oh, no. Let's invite this man to this party. Wait a minute. I doubt that I'd be connected to him. I feel like you would be way more likely. Mika, we are connected on LinkedIn. Let's fucking go! Yeah! Get in there! All right, send him a message. Copy and paste. Lock Instagram. in, baby. You copy and paste that party full link. <laughs> Oh my all god. All right, all right, all right. This is huge. Game changer. All right, we're getting to work on that. In the meantime, <laughs> you guys have got to fucking go, okay? Sleepover is ending. We've got to go to dinner and so also true. deeply focus on this message we're sending to Davis Clark to <laughs> get him to show up to this party tomorrow where we will um you know, there will be a baby with a gun. It's and that could be a really <laughs> big selling point. <laughs> Fully fucking caffeinated off the yerb. Yeah, <laughs> off the yerb. <laughs> Just come back in the from Tour de France. Yeah, listen, this baby is the main selling <laughs> point of this party at this in. point. This baby so, had a good Q1. <laughs> this yes. baby had a yes, huge Q1. So we're going to go take care of that. Love you guys so much. This was Thank so fun. So much for hanging out at the sleepover with the three of us. Um, Ashley and Mika's links will be in the description Woo-hoo! as always if you'd like to check them or their company out. Um, <laughs> And with that, I will see you guys next week. (laughs) Bye.